Good Advice from Grandma. August 6, 2019 by Anna Von writes. People ask me, how can we take our country back? My answer? Stop giving it away. These rats are interpreting you and your actions to suit themselves, so they arbitrarily interpret you as going along with their hijacking of America and going along with and supporting their substitution of for hire, privately owned corporations in the business of providing government services for your own government, and supporting their presumptions against your credit and your assets to pay for all those government services, too. When you register, there's that word again, remember when you register anything, you are giving it away, to vote, they are taking your proxy. They are actually taking your voice and your choice away from you and giving it to whoever you are silly enough to elect. How far away is this from self-governance? You have to govern yourselves, or someone else will gladly volunteer to do it for you. Most of them are crooks like Bill Clinton or idiots like Maxine Waters, but they will gladly volunteer to do the job, if you won't do it for yourselves. You have to be determined and proactive and organized, or you will be enslaved, and it is only a question of what kind of enslavement you will endure, communism, fascism, monarchy, or commercial feudalism, monarchy without the nice touches, are the current other choices. So cancel all voter registrations as a start. Cancel all memberships in political lobbies coyly named political parties. Start putting your time, energy, and money into your own government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Then correct your political status records and put your claim to own your own name on the public record, because your identity has been stolen and deliberately falsified to make it look like you are a dead British territorial United States citizen and or a denizen of Washington, D.C. People ask me why we need donations to support our government, when they are already reduced to lives like hamsters in a treadmill paying for government services. It's simple. We are the actual government of this country. We don't use printing presses to gin up money out of thin air. We don't practice identity theft to gain access to your credit and assets. We don't enslave you in the name of guaranteeing your freedom. We don't use you as mercenaries and call you soldiers and then cheat you out of residual pay and medical services you earned. We don't do wars for profit. So, if you want to gain control of the situation that you have unwittingly created by seeming to go along with all the criminality coming out of Washington, D.C., stop empowering them, and start empowering yourselves. Use your feet, your mouth, and your horse sense. They think that they are so much smarter than you that they can afford to smirk and call you livestock. They think that they are so much better than you that they can pick your pockets and you won't even object. They think that they can steal your trademarks, that is, your trade names, and use and abuse them to do anything they want to you and you are too stupid to do anything about it. That's what they think. So now it is up to you to prove them wrong. How? by educating yourselves and refusing to be dumb, driven cattle and refusing to participate in their scams. Don't vote in their elections, sponsor your own. They've substituted their law enforcement officers for your elected public peacekeeping officials, your county sheriffs. So get organized and declare your correct political status and hold your own elections. Return the favor. No need to argue. The Leos know that they are working in a private capacity for corporations in the business of providing government services. If they won't do the job you intended for them to do and won't protect you and your assets, and won't enforce the public law and the constitutions, then they are obviously being misinformed and misdirected by the middleman corporate bosses, and they all need to be fired, don't they? Elect your public officials and they immediately overstand anyone acting in a private capacity. Get enough people awake and on the move, and you won't have to worry about lack of enforcement. Don't, voluntarily, tax yourselves for taxes you don't owe, wake up and realize that if you aren't receiving a federal paycheck you don't owe federal income taxes. It's really that simple, folks, and always was. Realize that while you may owe them for some of the services they have been providing you, they owe you a hell of a lot more, so that instead of continuing to pay them through the nose for whatever they want to charge against your credit and assets, you can and should demand a mutual offset credit exchange exemption as described in Federal Title 12. Trade any debt you owe them against the over $25 trillion they already owe you. This has the effect of freeing you from any debt owed to them, and reduces the U.S. national debt at the same time. So disentangle yourself from their governments and support your own. 
send any voluntary donations that you would have sent to the IRS or given to the political parties to support the work of the American States Assembly, because we are serious about self-governance and restoration of the government we are all owed as Americans. We won't send racketeers to your door to force you to make voluntary gifts to us by April 15 every year. We won't use crooked judges to confiscate your property or put you in jail for failure to donate, either. We won't mortgage your home to finance our reckless spending. We won't conscript your sons and daughters as cheap mercenaries for sale. None of that. In summation, you have a choice between being self-governed, or being governed. Which do you prefer? You are going to have to support a government in any event, but you do have a choice about what kind of government you support and what kind of people run your government, too. You want carnival actors in charge? Celebrities? Lobbyists? Crooks? Roman Catholic archbishops running an inquisition against you? Welfare cheats? That's what you've got running the municipal United States government. You want Dr. Strangelove and Colonel Bat Guano instead? That's what you've got running the territorial United States government. They never heard of a war or a way to kill people that they didn't love and make money on. Or do you want to hike up your skirts and do what has to be done to restore your own government? When you have a clear view of the choices, it becomes obvious what has to be done and what's missing from this picture, you are missing from this picture. You haven't been minding your own shop, so your employees are bossing you around like you were their whipping boy. They are drinking up your wine cellar and putting your property in hock to pay for all these services, too. So, if you are sick of this idiocy and if you are determined to correct it in a peaceful and lawful manner, 1. Declare your correct political status and put it on the public record, 2. Join your actual state assembly, 3. Tell your friends and neighbors, 4. Send any voluntary gifts and donations to Anna Maria Riesinger, C.O. Box 520994, Big Lake, Alaska, 99652 or PayPal to Ivanovon at gmail.com and we, Americans all working together will put pedal to the metal to get this mess straightened out. See this article and over 1900 others on my website here, www.anavonrights.com. To support this work look for the PayPal buttons on my website.